Well, let's do the introduction first and then let's see how, how things go. It's Infi versus Chimiko. Once again, lower bracket. Lin is already out and the second one will follow. Infi is by far the favorite. Chimiko has been tearing up the scene for quite a bit, especially in GCS qualifiers. He's really, really strong. But Human Mirror is not his best matchup by far. You see it here, only 40% for pro level. That is horrendous. He hasn't won a single map against TH this year. He's like 0 to 11 or something. Ooh. And yeah, you see it on the on the screen that Infi's win rate against Jamiko is 80% as well. So again, the numbers, they spell disaster for the Korean. But we have seen a lot of miracles here in Color Cup. We have seen a lot of upsets. And maybe this is one of them. Cake Lady, by the way, is asking for a donation to appear on stream. Wow. Yeah, right? That's what I thought as well. How sellout. <laughs> is Anna the Cake Lady? Uh, no, Rike. I think you don't know her. No. Um, thank you very much to Werewolf King, six month resub, he says. Thanks for the great cast, and don't complain about that heat. We need the good weather. I don't I complain. Know, I think, think Neo and me, we both like complaining about the heat, man. We like, but this is not heat. This is like good weather that we have now, because uh, what we suffered through in Shanghai last year, Dude, don't give me that stories. was hot. That was inhuman. Yeah. Was... <laughs> Especially I... like walking in a suit from the hotel to the studio. That was maybe the dumbest thing I've done last year. Yeah, man. I, I was I, sweating I so thing. bad. Oh my god. Oh, it was, and it's just, it's this humid heat, you know? It's not like dry heat, which is totally yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh. So, human mirror. I know we're all looking forward to this all day. Um, we have more camp creep first, as of course. You're Trophy doing a really good job in hyping up this game. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm pretty excited, honestly. <laughs> well, Chimiko goes for tier three. Yeah, Chimiko plays tier 3. So, that could be good. <laughs> oh, shit, we got the donation we need, dude. <laughs> Super MKB with the 20 euro saying... Show... Is Rike short for Ulrike? Uh, no. Rike is her real Rike is just Rike. Okay. So we, we could also call her Reek. Reek, yeah, yeah, I, I'm still trying to make a joke about Reek, but I can't come up with one. So wait, is he living with you guys as well? Um, on paper, no. Ah. But she's here all the time. I think she's like spends as much time here as we other. So guys. does she always also sleep there? And then the big question: Which room does she sleep? In? <laughs> uh, yeah, she spends some nights here. Here in this room is what you're saying. That's up nice. for interpretation. By the way, uh, <laughs> the game was delayed by just two or three minutes uh, because Jamiko asked for a short break because he had to do the laundry real quick. Yep. So making sure That's the first the time I, I, I hear this, man. Can we start a little later? I have to do laundry. Like, is his mom punishing him or something if he's not doing it? Maybe he won't, lives by himself. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe he has some um, difficult roommates who don't appreciate when someone occupies the laundry, uh, the washing machine for Possible, long. possible. We have a dryer now, by the way. What a quality of life improvement that is. Dude, that's awesome. Isn't that really annoying because you put stuff in the dryer and afterwards you have to iron all that stuff? I don't do that. But isn't everything wrinkly then? A little. It's okay. But so what's, what's the problem with just getting it out of the washing machine and letting it, you know, dry on the... On the rack. Well, you have to put it on the rack. Yeah, but... And that takes time. Otherwise, you just... Pull it out of the washing machine, pull it in the dryer, wait a little, and then it's finished. Awesome. I guess so. I, I used a dryer once in my life, because we don't own one here, only my mom had one. And it felt to me like, yeah, it's wrinkly after. And Dude, I'm, when not I... gonna, I'm not gonna fucking... Uh, iron all of my clothes. That's like nope. the biggest waste of time in the world. When I was living at home with my parents, I had to pay to use the dryer because she what? said it's it's using so much electricity. It's so expensive. <laughs> what the hell, dude? My mom is a bitch sometimes, man. I told you. 
But I think it's time to talk about the game a little. As we are a few minutes in and the harass is coming. Infi in blue, Chimiko in brown. And the items are not that great at first, but now with claws and circlet, it's getting better for Infi. There is an arcane tower up though, Chimiko trying to cut some corners yesterday against TH. And, but cutting corners at an arcane tower is not the thing to go for. He is supply stuck though. And will be supply stuck for a bit as he loses his second farm. It's early on in the tech though, so it's not like it's delaying a second hero or something. Dude, these militia are here to party. A lot of them taking out the bottom middle here. Tech wise. Oh wow. Jamika was far ahead. Yeah. Like really far ahead. How did this happen? Yeah, for a mirror, that's a big difference in tech. Level 3.6 on the Archmage, 3. Point okay, levels are okay. But once so when again, it came to food in your old household, were you also only allowed to touch certain things in the fridge? <laughs> when, well, you, when, you want to, when you want to make, I don't know, fish or something, she said, no, no, it's too expensive, buddy. You only, <laughs> you only got the potatoes. No, no, <laughs> no, no, it didn't work that way. Little fight for the ogre. If this is a big mana potion, this could be the deciding drop here. And it's a big invul. It's nice. But did the experience go to Chimiko? Yeah, right? I think mm, so. I'm not sure. As it is, the Korean is very close to his level 4 here, with more and more abolishers coming in against the Watchlemans. He has even more abolishers! Look at all the Dispelny! Yeah. Oh my god! And now with the level 4, Brilliance are level 2. This is looking good for Chimiko. Shadow uh, Priest kill here though, but he's moving in range of all these mercenaries, so this Archmage tanking a lot of damage. Can run away with boots now though. But this is way better than I expected Shimiko to play. Infi most likely the second best human mirror player. Right after TH, obviously. And there's a panda. Early pressure, does he know? Oh, wait a minute. He's gonna panda expand. Okay. That's pretty cool. Because peasants are making their way over. He has the resources. Is Infi gonna scout this? And if he does, can he do something about it? Has to. Maybe Zeppelin drops into the base or something. Tom of experience for the panda. Whoa. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Yep. And now he's level two already. Whereas the MK only just started production, man. That will take forever. Um... Oh, but Ooh, the, the archmage almost scouted the expo, but he wasn't close enough. He could have cancelled this only by himself, perhaps. Yeah. Ah, with the army for Chimiko responding, maybe not. But here comes the barbecue time, boys! I wanted these fed, uh, what is he actually called? Out of Defend, which is what they did right here. One of them lost only, that's okay. And there's a creep left here, whoopsie. And evacuates with the Zeppelin. And as long as he buys time and space here for his expo, Chimiko still should be satisfied with this. Yeah, I agree. Good levels. And it's not like the Archmage of Infi is running away in experience and rushing towards level 5 because it's constantly distracted. Um, this is well played by the Korean. Now he's the one dropping into the base. But the Mountain King is already there. There's a good anti-air with the mercenaries. And towers obviously. And water elementals obviously. But the expo has been scouted by a footman now. So one thing the AM could do is get a tele stab, go down the harass. And um, he can come home if he needs to, but honestly, with so much militia that he can call, shouldn't even require the AM's help. And here we go. Hey, I'm gonna start harassing, but Chimiko, this may prompt the drop in for him, and there it is! This tower will be an easy cancel for him. Panda Breath doing lots of damage. May only be level 1, but that one hit very well. And of course, still TP towards the expansion once he needs to. And I think he's gonna need to in a moment. This is a lot of kills here, man. A lot of corpses, and we can just run away. But the peasants are falling as well. But this is not the main economy uh, for him. So, ooh, this Zeppelin. That was quite close. And he has to TP out. Is he fighting this and defending this? No, he has to heal up before. Does he just kill his expo now? I don't think the damage is enough. One water elemental will expire, but Jamik is he He's starting to. We could call him militia out. right now. Infi. Expo's dead. Yeah. Oh man. Huh, I didn't think this was gonna work out this way. 
Is it enough though? A player's forces are under No, he leaves it alive. But why? But why? Well, he can send a footman down there and finish it. So that's fine. He's creeping up right now. Panda is gonna get level three though, yeah. which is amazing against the footies, of course. But we're gonna move into breaker territory very soon. Against which it's not all that good. Big a creep spot for Infi here. Boots on the Mountain King, of course. Foot of cunning is okay. It's mana for him. Okay, expansion finishing now with the Archmage shield. Shimiko trying to repair it. Oh, this is a little sad and desperate. He has 1,000 gold though. Lumber issues on the other side. Reveal being used to see. Okay, he's not at the red spot. A player's forces are under attack. I wonder if Chimiko had just hung around his expansion. Could he have defended it against the first push? Of course, he would have had fewer casters because he delayed his casters in favor of that expo. But with Merv camp support, maybe could have been possible. But as it stands now. I must say, I do not fancy his chances. Even if he gets a big item here at the red camp. The cloak. Unlikely to become too effective. Yeah. Should sell it. And here's the creep check from Infi. He knows what's up. Chimiko just bought a TP and used it immediately. Got level 5 though. But Infi will follow. Very close game between the two. Infi is expanding, by the way. Very close game. What game are you watching, dude? Yeah, experience-wise, like 5-5. Five, yeah. five. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, I, I, that's true. But 35 supply only for Chimiko. He's going for tier 3. I think that's an okay. That's a good choice, I guess. Yeah. Um, very unlikely you're going to win this in a breaker war. Yeah, Infi had way earlier casters. He has a lot more casters. And there's no way Chimiko can win this straight up. So, I like what he's doing, teching, distracting, using the zeppelin again, but of course Infi is aware and he saw that he should be prepared for this. But he's still able to drop. Jimiko needs the... to find out about the expansion though. Can you hear the sound in my apartment? No. There's some serious thumping going on. I don't know from what <laughs> it is. Sounds a little curious. So here's the zeppelin drop. And these peasants, they are getting roasted pretty effectively. One more breath is going to result in a lot of kills. Oh, the Zeppelin's up Players off the trees, dude. We've seen some heart attack ones recently. And that was actually a very cool usage of the Cloak of Flames. Just stand in the middle of the peasants, doing area of effect damage to them and combine it with, with uh, Breath of Fire. So, let's compare the gold mines. 4,900. Oh, actually, they are about the same. How? Ah, maybe the Arras early on. Cost some the town is under resources siege. there. And with the Zeppelin, he could perhaps try to fly between the two bases? Yeah. That's a uh, long Zeppelin's distance, low. though. Are under and MK plus the rest of the army is just beelining its way across the map. The Breakers can walk past the farms, and then the peasants might be in trouble here for Chimiko. What a long train of human army coming towards Chimiko's base. The first mortar team is coming, but for how long will that stay alive? Not for too long, I guess. Look for the arcane tower. He has double arcane tower, that helps a lot, but this one is not getting repaired. Killing off the shadow priest though. Where is the response? Yeah, he's dealing with the income from the one base, but Infi has two, that's the thing. TP home. He has to protect his economy, his tier three, his mortar teams. But with that, Infi could just retreat again and benefit from his two gold mines. All the teams are out now. Fragmentation shards coming. And he needs army as well. Still down to 38. Almost twice the supply for Infi, who's constantly healing up his breakers. He'll pause with the depth upgrade. He's breaking through. He's chewing through the buildings. Not too much to spell for the water elemental. Okay, that was the one of the Sorry about that. At the moment, he has no solution against these breakers. Nice dodge of the breath of fire. Not well executed by Chimiko as well. Water elementals get dispelled pretty easily here. Infi has so many priests, dude. Yeah. Seven of them. With two levels of brilliance, of course. Fragmentation shard finishes before the up uh, before the workshop falls. 
And this is a massive damage plus now on Shimiko's side. But he needs more. Yeah. I think he can just out heal the mortar team damage yeah. if it's just one. Yeah. So now Infi retreats, but Chimiko is supply stuck still, can't make any more. He's getting a paladin, so he's getting a good army. Just not a very big army. A player is under attack. Now without the protection of the buildings, Chimiko has to take this fight. When of the wind being used, transition to Blizzard, and that is fantastic against priests and mortar teams. But the army can't really get a grip so far. Panda's out of mana himself, no more breaths from him. He could surround the AM here, perhaps forcing a TP, but he has two of those, so he's not really in short supply. Yeah, when what's up coming out? Second time we see a double TP on a on a unit. Player's forces are under attack. Stacking to reposition with the rest of his army. The MK is in trouble! The Paladin, I mean, because the MK might find a kill here with the bash, that would be good enough! And that was the bash to last hit him there. May not even have been necessary. It was four for the panda, but no mana to make use of his skill points with. MK dropping low, but he has a health stone, popping it right there. And the breakers seem to be insurmountable. Good retreat. AM is low though, so you may yeah. be able to force a TP. Good retreat by Infi so far. But this is all time for Chimiko to get his tier 3 stuff up. More mortar teams. He has a thousand gold, he's so ma he's so short on lumber. But he can't produce too much. And he seems to be pressuring him into submission. Palin's back. Heal me, bro! <laughs> only level one though. This blizzard is so good, not only against the water teams, but he's completely shutting down the mining at the moment, plus doing uh, damage to the structures. Without risking anything, actually. So I really like that transition from, from Infi here. Very smart. 72 supply at this point against 40. Talion, what are you doing? Oh no! He's praying for the grave again. And he finds his way. And... Whew, the fragmentation shots, though. If they hit, yep. man, they are really nice. Yep. But but so same goes for Blizzard. And he's killing more and more units, man. Archmage can't just stand in front of the castle, and Infi wins game number one, seemingly with ease. Chimiko held on, but yeah, that wasn't his game. After the expo died, no real chance. I wonder, if he plays this more passively, can he hold on to that expansion? I think he would have had a decent chance. Level 2 Panda, Militia Call. MK was only level one. Yeah. But you know, what it could have should have. So now map number two is gonna be Ancient Isles. Usually a map that humans will always steer away from, but of course in the mirror doesn't matter. Yeah, we saw it yesterday as well, I think, when TH was uh, defeating Chimiko seemingly with ease. By the way, uh, this is not the last game of the day. We will continue to cover Rust Brain Cup Qualifier number four after oh, yeah. Color Cup is over. Starts in 45 minutes. Didn't it start at four? Nah, they postponed it. It's oh. gonna be a long day. <laughs> Dude! Okay. I'm, I'm getting so mad! Now they pick light blue and blue in Human Mirror. <laughs> at least I didn't forget to invite you. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun with the new patch with like dark red versus red. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, looking great. forward to that. 1 0 for Infi. Map number 2 AI match points. Chimiko is about to be eliminated. Would be the second Korean dropping out of this tournament after Lin. So light blue is Infi, normal blue is Chimiko. Have fun. The hawk blue it is. The hawk blue. What do you call that? Is there like some very artsy fartsy people in chat who know exactly what that's called? Like aquamarine or something? <laughs> I know it's not aquamarine because that's kind of green. I don't know. So, Neo. Yep. 
What stupid argument did you get into recently? Oh, uh, wait, I got a. I, I sent a text to Rike that we got a 20 buck donation if you show up. She said, not enough. Excuse me? Such a bitch. Such a bitch. A lovely bitch, though. So, the argument. Archmage first on both sides, of course. We don't see anything else. <laughs> Is there something you want to ask me or. No, right? No, it's the rest of it. Azure blue and teal blue. Can't they use classic blue and red, man? I'm asking the same thing for years now. The color is periwinkle? Oh my god, is it really periwinkle blue? Wow. D doesn't that doesn't that uh, give you a flashback, Neo? Doesn't that ring a bell? Periwinkle? Periwinkle blue? No. It's uh, It has to do with... Oh, what's his face? Ex-husband of Madonna. Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie? Okay. Yeah. It's Sorry. from... Uh, it's from Snatch when Brad Pitt wants a new trailer for his mom. It's supposed oh, to be in Periwinkle Blue. Attack. Ah, never watched the bet, you know. I only uh, talked about Snatch a couple of days ago. I think when I was solo casting. If you haven't watched that yet, people, you have to watch that movie. Did we talk about me watching Pulp Fiction in the movie? In the mm -hmm. in, in, in the theater? No. I watched Pulp Fiction on Tuesday, and then I mm. talked about it in the cast, and there are actually people who have not seen Pulp Fiction, can you believe it? A play what a sin. What a sin indeed. Have you heard about The Quiet Place, by the way? I heard a lot of good stuff about it. Yeah, man, it was really nice. Surprised me. It's like, it's kind of a horror movie. It's not really a horror movie. It just has horror movie no, elements. But I really, really enjoyed it. The film is largely based around the idea that you have to be quiet. Yeah. So the film is super quiet. So probably you don't want to go there uh, on the weekend during the mainstream hours because there's... Oh, yeah. oh what's, what's that all about? What did he say? What does he mean? Fucking people who can't talk, stop talking during movies, you know? <laughs> I feel you, man. No, no so manners. Go there during the week. Either early or very late, but it's a really good one. Okay, we'll do that. It should have priest time on both sides. Mercenary camp, of course, as always, taking out super quickly. Level two and a half here. Level two and a bit more here on Shimiko's side. And items. Flute for Shimiko. Sweet. Against Soul Mask, not too bad either. But the flute in the Breaker Wars, pretty good. Yeah, it's good for everything, man. For Archmage, Water Elemental, oh, Breaker, Priest, yeah. well, uh, Mortal Teams, if you go for them, it's fantastic. 10% damage boost on all the range. Techs have started, or at least the one for Jamiko. But the first Again. time little push. How is Inti again so much later? It's not as much as before, I suppose, but so. It's a footman more. Five against four. But it's six. Then it's six against four. It's two footmen more. But there's and one more. Again, he accomplishes something with it. Kills the farm, keeps some supply stock, that's exactly what we saw in Last of Future as well. And Shimiko not really able to defend this, or prevent this. Getting some peasant kills here as well, and the big difference is, Infi did not opt for the red camp creep, whereas Shimiko did. So the pressure was hitting his base earlier. What did he get for his troubles? A mana stone, that's pretty good! Yeah. Two very nice finds on him on the bottom side of the map. But he's getting punished for it here. This is now two peasants killed, and a footy, and a third peasant killed. And of course, lots of time off of their busy lumber work. But they still have, should have enough time to get into shape for tier 2. Speaking of the items, yesterday this was the map where Chimiko found double mana stone and still lost the game to TH. But that you keep was... on rubbing it in, don't you? <laughs> Dude, 
That was so stupid. <laughs> he lost his Archmage when the Mountain King came out. So the first Stormbolt was basically the kill uh, that cost him the game. Oh, he used the Mana Stone here? Just for one more Water Elemental? Hmm. Gets that's level weird. 4 though. So that's pretty nice. He has that advantage. Got the Double Shadow Priest, man. They have so much Dispel. Oh, but now forcing a TP even. Could have just walked away there, I think, but okay. With that, he'll be able to heal up very quickly with the regen scroll. So tier 2 is done for Chimiko. Is it Panna time again? Oh, he's supply stuck. Oh, that's very bad. He's not even power building this. He's getting a shredder. Say what? <laughs> what? What is that then? Does that mean tier 3? Well, Shredder is good in fights as well, so why not? Another Mana Stone, by the way. This, I mean, he's this good is in the theory, but he can't be healed, that's the problem. He found four Mana Stones playing this map twice, what are the odds? And he's gonna lose the Shredder, which is a cheap 300 plus unit. Oh shit. Well, he blocks himself. Can he save this one? Can he repair it? He's, he's committing hard for the kill though. He wants it. Fireball, whoosh, whoosh, and skadoom. <laughs> no repair, unfortunately. So yeah, he's losing that big and expensive unit. He still has like an imbalance between gold and lumber. This is Naga second, dude. What's going on? True. That is super rare. Oh yes. Oh, you can't lose the altar, dude. Does the MK have time to come out? Forces are under attack. So bolts around here is a serious threat that Chimiko has, and that's why I think Infi is retreating back here. But he's so supply stack, dude. He's so supply stack. <laughs> it's uh, I haven't seen this in forever. Oh, Naga surround number one, but anti surround, and he actually saves her. Um, Infi is putting a lot of emphasis on killing the farms, like this entire series already, and he's running away. With his army, like 42, 39. A player's Again, supply stock. His uh, tier 2 buildings are up, so he's gonna start production heavily now. And I wonder why the Naga. I mean, he's good against footies, but so is the Panda. And the Panda at least does something later on. Hmm. Maybe he just thinks he can clown on this fool. Yeah. <laughs> Well, usually if you pick a Naga, you want to end things quick. Maybe he has better stuff to do. So again, Stormbolt is dangerous here. Stormbolt's around. Oh, if he loses the AM. This is the way he loses this game, but he gets out of it. But the Naga's gonna have to pay for it. Oh, boots of speed. Get her to safety. There's one, soon to be two more Stormbolts. Long range, finds the Shadow Priest. I think he's happy with that one. Taking the hit, and now the MK out of position, surrounded against the trees, and dead! And there's Fort Lightning now. Militia is helping tremendously here, and he's killing basically the entire army. Fort Lightning rattling through. Level 5 for Chimiko, but will that really help him without a Mountain King? I seriously doubt it! Healing is coming in now, in terms of priests. Infi is about to lose a little bit though. But Chimiko can't stay in this fight. Oh man. And Chimiko only now getting his second Sanctum up. His caster production has been so much slower for so long. Didn't really start. I mean, two priests against four already. And, and if he's getting the first breakers, I think. Is he? Yeah, he's using uh, the peasants here. He won that fight. Clearly, he has all the advantages that one needs. And that's the expansion then. It certainly seems to look that way. Good water elemental scouting here. Seeing if Jamiko should be moving south. And perhaps looking for a counter expansion of his own. The level 5 Archmage is a big deal though. Um, the Mountain King is certainly a problem, but these level 3 water torrents will help. Or is he going for Blizzard himself now? He has the gold, a player's forces are under especially attack. since the expansion is coming up. Yeah, Tomb of Retraining, since the expansion is coming up, that's a very good choice to siege that one. 
Breakers for Chimiko as well. 45 supply for the Korean, 49 for Infi. Did he go for Tom of Retraining as well? I didn't see it. I don't think so. He's so close to level 5. Oh, he needs one more kill. Players' forces are under attack. And there we go. There's a Waffle Elemental, so it's not Blizzard yet. Chimiko is expanding as well. Is he in a position where he can expand? Doesn't really look like it. Nope. <laughs> not at all. But he's trying. So, Blizzard, level 3, has potential to do great damage here, but he needs a good position to find it in as well. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Oh, yes, baby! So the priests oh, don't like that cold weather. But the Naga controls so much that Shimiko can't really out micro him here. So, again, pickups for Infi. Level 3 and a half Naga. Yeah, Expos are up, are under he sends the footman in, nice. Splits the footman away from, or apart from the other half of the army. Can he even finish it? No word. He's certainly trying. And K level 3, okay, just a lot more damage became available here. Ooh, that blizzard as well. MK, I mean, Stormbolt plus Blizzard combo could be really sick, and we see it right here. But the MK low himself. Let's retreat. More Stormbolts are at the ready. And the Expo doesn't finish. 10, 10 HP away. 10 HP. How unlucky. But well, Infi's Archmage is still alive from this level 5. There is one more Stormbolt. Breakers are coming. Reinforcements for Infi. Is it sitting so hard? Does he have a heal scroll? Yes, he does. So he just stays in there, pops the heal scroll. He's just tanking it, dude. Yep. And I'm dropping low. In wall! Nope. Doesn't heal it. Doesn't matter, I guess. GG. Wow. Uh, Infi moves on. Chimiko eliminated. He was out of the ranks of players that we had, the one we expected most to be saying goodbye soon. And that means WFZ versus Infi in the lower bracket tomorrow. Nice. And that was it for today for Color Cup. To that, here we have the grid once again. We will see tomorrow Moon versus TH, Foggy versus Lucifer, and Infi versus WFZ. Six players remaining, fighting for $6,200 here in Color Cup, sponsored by Color Media. And yeah. Who's your favorite after seeing today's games? Hmm. Moon. Really? Yeah. Okay. I picked TH. He had a tougher opponent, I think, today. And he played this so damn well. Foggy, though. Always with chances. I see Foggy in the top three. For sure. It's not like he plays 1 to 0 or happy. So he has very good chances against Undead as well, even if he's uh, struggling a little against them. He lost against WFZ though. That was a weird game with Mass Fury Dragons, etc. If he plays normally, I think he can take it. So, half an hour break for us to get some food into these uh, caster buddies. And then it's Ross Brain Cup time, boys. Fourth qualifier. We have a few participants already. Those are uh, Sonic, Foggy, and Lucifer. So maybe Hawk, maybe Focus, maybe Lawlight. We will see who signed up for this. Did you check the grid already? Who signed up? No, right? No. Nope. The usual suspects with Orc Worker, etc., etc. So yeah, half an hour break, and then we continue with Warcraft 3 here at Back to Warcraft. See you in a bit.